Welcome. My name is Dennis Machine Gun Thompson, and I am the drummer of the MC5, DKT MC5, the Secrets Motor City Bad Boys, legendary serious tricks in the Motor City Bad Boys, amongst many other groups. And I am in the basement studio of my very good friend Jim Randolph, who's the playwright of an up-and-coming rock opera entitled One Kiss, One Bite. We're going to play a little bit of drums here. And um, I'm going to play a little rock and roll drums, but I'm going to, I want to break it down for you. For those of you who haven't, uh, who think that drumming is, looks so complicated, but it really isn't. I'll show you how simple it really is. That's why I'm a drummer. If it was complicated, I wouldn't be doing it. Basically, rock and roll is counted one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one quarter note four times in a measure. One, two, three, four. Measures are bars, uh, sections of a song. So in bass clef, you just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In rock and roll, the downbeat is always on one and three. And the upbeat, which is the snare drum, this main drum right here, this is on two and four. So let me show you something. Go one. rock and roll. It's that simple. I can take the same tempo. These are called 16th notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. There it is. Every rock and roll song just about you've ever heard. speaking was written by Fred Smith, brilliant guitar player in the band. That's a six or seven minute song where I essentially play a solo throughout the whole song. And uh, by the way guys, we did seven takes. And it's pretty hard for me to do seven takes today, so I'll just try and do it in one take. And basically it's still 4-4, four, four, still 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4, but it's got a different beat. Something like this. That's the root beat to that song. So, what drummers need to learn is their own fill ins. So, you practice your fill-ins, and the fill-ins is like Johnny B. Here's his signature fill-in from Jane Take a Ride. That's a fill-in. Here's another one. Super Skunk.
Sometimes you might want to play in a polymodal, it's called polyrhythms, polymodal sense, and you might want to have an accent point where, like this. <laughs> I'm the guitar.